Hi guys. So I'm um, just hanging out here on this beautiful Saturday morning. Um, I don't have a monitor set up, but I'll bend my neck around a little bit and try and look to see if anyone's commenting. I'm just going to detail this little seahorse a bit around her face. This is unicorn spit and this is fama wood for texture. It's a wood filler. And then I'm detailed with crystals and all that. I hope you're having a fabulous Saturday. So let's do this. I've got some zeatil in these little alcohol ink bottles. Uh, it's just easier to work with for me. So that's what I do. This is a resin coaster. That was a fail. Makes beautiful little um, palette. This is Blue Thunder. And Dionysus. This is the Artistic Vivation um, Metallics. I'm putting a lot of product out here for what I'm planning on doing, but it's okay. If it dries on the palette, just leave it. The next time you come back, just dampen your brush and it will just be restored to life. <laughs> it's fabulous. Okay, and then, of course, got to have some Midnight's Blackness. Also, uber concentrated, won't need much. I'm so excited. I've been talking to a lot of people that are trying the Unicorn Spit for the first time, and also some are going to the Unicorn Spit Extravaganza in Kansas City. <laughs> and uh, one is bringing her sister... Uh, this was from Facebook, and her sister has never done, like, crafts or art or anything, but she's willing to go, and I thought, see, that's a sister. <laughs> My sister's going, too, and also a niece, and now it's difficult, because, you know, who can take uh, three or four days out of your week, but at the same time, if you can, it's in uh, September, um, let's see, it's five, six, seven, eight, something like that. Um, Kansas City Unicorn Spit Extravaganza. It's like, um, several classes, several teachers I get to teach. So it's going to be, it's my first time to ever go to an extravaganza. So, yeah. <laughs> I have no idea. It just looks like it's a hoot. That's all. Welcome if anyone's hanging out. Artist Life, Welcome. Aw, thanks guys for the love. Appreciate you. I'm, I'm over here just dawdling, but I have spray sealed this, so uh, gosh, I guess I need some water to, for my brush. It's right here. I'm not leaving yet. But uh, I spray sealed it, but I didn't spray seal it like beyond belief, so I'm not like a hundred percent sure that everything is going to be not moving around right now as far as the unicorn spit artwork. But also, I don't really care because I'm just here to play today. And I hope you guys are having a fabulous Saturday. I'm looking for my nice brush. I just got it. <laughs> Oh, well, there's one right there. That would help. This one, guys, with the um, crooked little neck. Fabulous. For tiny, tiny things like, I want to see and put that dot right in his eye. But on a straight one, this is blocking it. This allows you to be down here, and somehow it drops off right where it needs to, and you can see exactly where that pupil's supposed to go. Not that on this piece it matters much, but hey, fabulous tools for fabulous art. <laughs> Amazon came in a set. <laughs> I bought it for that one. 
I think it was like $17 or something, but it was quite a huge amount of all detail brushes, different, different tips. So if you do the small stuff or if you do the little treasure boxes, probably check that out. Okay, those are all the big ones. Thanks for the love, guys. Appreciate you. I'm just looking at all the choices I have. <laughs> and I'm not sure how I want to get after this. I was thinking about giving her a little veil and making this a bride. <laughs> and I still might. It just seems to me... See, you're an artist. Artist life. Um... Does that not look like she should, like, this is a vanity situation, a mirror, and that, like, something. <laughs> I'm going to go with that. <laughs> we'll see. I'm going to start slow, <laughs> she says. <laughs> Let's try this little, whatever that is. And this one that I have chopped down to nothing. Those are always the best, <laughs> the best ones. And I'm just going to dampen both of those. And then wipe it off. Because with the unicorn spit, it moves beautifully with water. You do not need very much at all. So that black that I just put down there with my damp brush, I'm just going to start blending it. Giving that little guy more jaw. I'll take some of that cheek off a little bit. Reshape it with a shadow. I can throw it back in later. Ed Williams. My brother. That is this. Just trying to give her a little more dimension. All right, I don't want her all with the midnight's blackness, so I want to dip my brush into the water. I don't care if there's a little midnight blackness on it. As a matter of fact, I think I'll put some more on it. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a little Dionysus and the uh, Blue Thunder. So I got all three of those on a little tip. That's a lot of color. That's okay. I'm going to darken under here. And just give a little bit more definition right back there. Because I want these little flowers and stuff to stand out. They're just muddled in with all the background. So I'm going to start working from here, I think. And just poking through. Give her more of a backbone. <laughs> Ed Williams, my brother, just shredding it. I'm going to add that blue shadow here, too. That, that was pretty. She's going to get bigger right now. I'm going to dampen that. I'm not going to wash it completely off. There's a lot of the purple, the Dionysus, and blue still in it. So I'm just going to go back up to where it's thickest and start like a wash over her tummy. And I want to drop it out a little bit farther. And with that, I'm going to add... Just a touch of the Zeatil and Whitening Unicorn Spit. Also, it has a little bit of the Celine, which is an iridescent, but very sheer. Just want this to be a little more. Just a sweet little belly. Just 
just blend it right back up into that dark. And I'm also just keep going. Get a little bit of that. Oh, she has a little bonnet. How sweet was that? See, it's those little surprises that you never really expect. I mean, just little things that just pop up. Love. Okay. Ooh, this is becoming very cool. I like this new little twist that's just kind of become more evident with the shadow there. Shading. This art thing is such a journey. It's such a layer process for me. That's, that's how I do it. <laughs> All right, I'm going back for my black, my nice blackness. And I'm just gonna drop it right under her tail a little bit. pull it over the rocks. She's got to have some sort of a shadow. It doesn't have to be a lot, but any little bit of a shadow is going to give her body and tail just a, a little bit of help in defining its shape. So. Let's see. Wow. <laughs> oh, I love just detailing. <laughs> I came in this morning. Um, it's my mama's birthday, and she is in heaven already. So uh, it, it's been like since 2017, I believe, 2018, 2019. It's been several, several years. So you know, I realized I was having a harder time than I thought. And then, of course, with my mind, I'm, I got hard on myself. I'm like, well, you know, <laughs> I can be easy for everybody else. I can give everyone else so much grace, right? Are you like that? <laughs> but for yourself, it's like, oh, this should be done by now. I should be stronger than this. And, and I was like, golly. And I thought, you know, no, you know what to do when this is happening. Uh, first of all, Stop feeling sorry for yourself <laughs> uh, because life goes on and this is not going to help. It's not going to bring her back. So second, go back and start remembering all the awesome times. Go to a place where her memories are just vivid. So of course, painting. Um, and then start getting happy. Be in your happy place and honor her. So that's what I'm doing, and I'll tell you, in just a second, my mind has changed, and I am, I am <laughs> so grateful, and I don't have that sorrow, that heaviness, you know, doesn't mean I don't miss her and stuff, but I don't have that heaviness that was happening this morning, and, you know, um, you have to guard your heart. To me, this is just open talk, guys, I don't even... even know who's here but um for me if you've ever struggled with any sort of addiction i mean i cannot allow myself to get into my head like that without going to somebody talking about it i mean it wasn't like i wanted to go back to alcohol or anything but i know it's a slippery slope and i know the word says let the man who thinks he stands take heed lest he fall and that to me that's not a condemnation that is a a strength word right there for for me because you always are on guard you don't let your guard down when it comes to things that have the potential of destroying your life your family your finances right you've been there before you're not doing it again um so that's that's the beauty of restoration and memory is, yeah, I can remember all the horrible things that I went through. Or, hey, I can remember all the awesome times I had with my mom <laughs> and all the strength and stuff we gained and knowledge through art. Um, it's all up to me what I want to decide to think on today. 
how I want to have my day end up. So, I hope today, if you're struggling with anything, that you just stop, breathe, go to your happy place, whatever that is. That thing that is a passion inside of you. It just takes a second. It only is a second of like, nope. I am not going there. And then you're done. I promise you. <laughs> the battle is right there. It's in that first thought. Just adding some colors. Pretty colors. Let me highlight with some, some white right here. Trying to figure out how far this is <laughs> coming this way. All right. Well, you know what? We should sparkle her up. I've got some beautiful weather daydreams or Let's see. Let's see. It's not the weather daydreams. It's iced egret. <laughs> I love these names. Who could not love painting with, first of all, unicorns fit? <laughs> okay. Now, this is a gel stain sparkling. So, it is very... Uh, minimally pigmented. It's actually like really awesome for glazing in that sense because it's very sheer. But it has a sparkle to just, you just love. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a few little lines of teal. Z a teal. Nothing has to be perfect or plain. And then I'll put some white somewhere around there too. I expect it to get mushed up shortly. And here comes some of the sparkling. Just laying it over the belly. Blending it in. It's hard to see, but there's a gazillion little sparkles in there. They'll pop back out later. <laughs> I'm going to put some uh, the purple Dionysus. It's gorgeous. And I've got that on my brush, and I'm just going to put it into that iced egret as well. I'm going to come down here and just start patting around and see what happens. The thing is, it's just so much the same color as the backdrop, so... I want to set her apart. I don't want to change her too much because seahorses can camouflage themselves with their surroundings. At least I think they can. <laughs> In my mind, she does. So there. And what's this little cute little one thing here? I like it. <laughs> Just shading. It does look a little muddy, but that's okay. I can come back in and un-demudify. <laughs> just 
just by adding some pretty colors over the top. Okay, that's that purple with the iced egret. Goes a long way. Just keep tapping. designed and blend over it again doesn't matter <laughs> just keep going it's therapy <laughs> enjoy okay i got iced egret and some blue thunder i'm gonna mix it in more with the iced egret i think make it more sheer put some white in it Ooh, that's a ooh, that's pretty I'm still just not satisfied with the tummy, so until I am. Look at the cool stripes. Okay, I'm getting happier with it. Oh, so pretty, you all. <laughs> As if you don't see it. Well, you should see it from here. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> Aww. I love bringing things to life. Maybe that's what I like about art. It brings life. Listening to, what was his name? Gosh, he's famous. <laughs> he talks a lot. <laughs> he's a psychiatrist or something. He's talking about artists, uh, their brains. They live on the edge between chaos and creation. They take stuff that isn't anything in itself and create things that people want to look at or get something from, right? So that's where they dwell. It, it doesn't make sense to a lot of people. <laughs> but it's our happy place. She has bigger eyes today. She needs more foof. She is feeling it. Thank you for the love, you guys. For this life. Thank you. It's turning out so cute. <laughs> oh, you, you gotta see uh, what we were doing with family wood and stuff. But, uh, let's see. Well I, well, I can't find the family wood, but did you see the pixie? <laughs> Isn't this cool? I just printed out one of those, you know, those fantasy um, filters that you play with on TikTok. My daughter and I were playing with it, and she, this was her pixie, and so I screenshotted it and then printed it out and traced it and then just did the unicorn spit on wood. Isn't that so cool? It was so fun. Just love the colors. I love it in the pastel and it's muted, but also I kind of want to see what it would look like under resin, you know, so I don't know. Oh, thank you. And so easy, right? I traced it and then it was like a coloring page. And you know, I used to shame myself. 
if I used a stencil or traced something to get started, I do not shame myself. I never shamed anyone else. I just have different rules for me. You understand, I'm sure. <laughs> Grace to everyone else. But um, I do not shame myself anymore because it really is a very cool way to learn how to, first of all, whatever that thing is that you've traced, you're drawing it. You've got muscle memory going. And then also the shading, there's so many options to what you can do with it. You can branch out if it was a butterfly and wait the wings flames, you know, but at least they've got, and I'm talking just new beginners, um, they've got something to start with and it gets them past that what would normally stop them and they say, I don't like art, you know, because they haven't even got to the art yet. <laughs> so that's why I am, you know, I'm all for that. And, and AI art, same thing. Whatever, you know, whatever lights somebody's fire, I am all for that. So. And, you know, there are days I want to come in and, and not do that and just really do something fabulous. <laughs> but I just... I just think it's amazing. So I was trying to share it with someone the other day. It's really a personal journey. There is no right or wrong. And, and the worst person is not uh, usually someone criticizing you off of Facebook or TikTok. It's usually, you know, ourselves. Highlighting the little nose. I like her pudgy little cheek and bring that back a little bit more just by angling up just think of our own makeup you want to put a cheekbone on a seahorse there you go <laughs> same thing I don't know where their fins usually are but I want one right here because it just looks like there should be one here I just want to shout out to all the followers and shout out to all the subscribers, both on TikTok and Facebook. Thank you so very much. You have made my day. It's just beautiful, the support I've been getting. I, I have honestly been blown away. It's not just the subscribers. It's everybody. It's taking the time to stop and comment, you know, and realizing how important that is as me, um, it's helped me become more conscientious to do so with others, you know, because it is a two-way street. So whoever's hanging out with me right now, Shannon Romero, my beautiful daughter, hello, sweetheart, I'm coming to your page. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so my voice changes when you walk in and I get that it's not quite the puppy thing but we're really close to that <laughs> my beautiful daughter <laughs> you tell I'm missing everybody today <laughs> oh, I love you thanks for all the love guys That's where we're at Sparkling her up. That's some pretties. I don't know what else to put on her. I just want some of this right into the don't ever do that. <laughs> no. -uh. Add some sparkle to her little florals. I 
I don't know if you can see it, but they're sweet, sweetness. Oh, thank you, honey. Appreciate that. How is the household today? Everybody, let's see what day this is. Everyone's home. Oh, it's lively. <laughs> I want her lips to have lips. <laughs> She's going to turn into a floozy, y'all. <laughs> But she will be beautiful. As a matter of fact, you know what? I think she needs more like a wing. <gasps> Aw, she does. Let's do it. I want a kind of certain kind of brush. I'm not looking. I'm not finding. Let's try this one. All right, it's gonna have to be pretty thin, uh, liquidy. So I'm going for my Celine, yep, this one. And a little bit of that Put right in there. And over here, and a little over there. Very busy as always, no doubt. Hey, so how is Michaela loving her cheerleading? Is it wild yet? Or are they still in the planning stages and picking out what they're wearing stages? And... Okay, I just dipped it into that gluey acrylic sparkle and then into the Celine and a little of the purple. And to me, I just see kind of a wing thing here. So I'm gonna see if I can, if I can get this. <laughs> You know, I might take it back off, but I, I want to give it a chance first. I think it's so sweet. It's kind of like a little dragon. <laughs> Hold on. We're not done. <laughs> this gets better and better. These are why the little alcohol ink bottles work so well. Generally. <laughs> Butterfly. Dragon. Aww. I want a little bit of this. Dragging just a touch from that edge. That white might just be a little too thick, but I don't think so. And it's going to be under resin, so holy moly, I'm loving this little guy. I still want to push it out. I don't want it to crack or look cracky. And a little sheer wouldn't hurt. My little seahorse has a wing. 
So tempted just to put a little halo right here, but hey, what, what, what? <laughs> Let's see. I do love the the wing. Let's get her. Let's get her blinged in. Gotta have some bling in that wing. I don't want to go too crazy now. Maybe just a little at the bottom, too. I'm just going to lob in it. That's okay, I can. This is just acrylic. just sweetness. Hey, they can figure out what it is, whoever they are. <laughs> Let's put some uh, Dionysus in the little belly. Thanks for all the love, honey. Whoever's doing whatever, I appreciate you. Blend, 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 always. I like the little ridges. Ruffles. <laughs> I'm going to put some of that super sparkly in with more of the white. Maybe if I just don't get totally carried away. Uh-huh. That's the ticket. All things in moderation. Oh, I had a victory. Yes, I did. A couple days ago, I threw a half a pack of cigarettes away. Don't don't praise me. I'm smoking views. <laughs> but I am no longer holding that last regular pack in my drawer for a backup safety net. I finally launched into the trash and I feel really good about it. So, I mean, it's not as if I couldn't go get another, but it was just a thing. But um, I think the timing is right. And you know, any of these shackle shackles I've just been hanging on to, it's just been optional for me, apparently. <laughs> I don't know, it's furry. Uh, anyway. Shackles I've just been hanging on to. It's just been optional for me, apparently. <laughs> I don't know. It's furry. Uh, anyway. Still trying to figure out what is it about this belly that is just not making me happy. Anybody? Don't know.
<laughs> I'm liking it. What a sweet little thing. <laughs> Just never know what's going to come up. That's what I love about art. Just never know. I asked you questions and you probably answered like a eons ago and I I apologize. I get sidetracked, but I know you know. <laughs> It's the shadowing and the highlights, just little tiny bits at a time. Sometimes I get carried away and do too much at a time and go back and forth, back and forth. Good thing I work on this wood stuff. It, it helps. That guy. My brother. Just enjoying the music. I love that song. Alrighties. We're getting it. She's getting beautiful and sweetness. Just absolutely fun. So, with this happy T-Bone Boogie music, I guess I'll get off of here and get some food. <laughs> I have no idea what time it is. But I have had a blast just dawdling with you guys and also letting me spill my guts and share my stories. I hope it helps somebody out there today and I hope you're just having a beautiful, peaceful day. Do what you love to do today. Shannon Romero, thank you, honey. I love you. Um, Artist Life, if you're still here, thanks for hanging out forever. <laughs> okay. Love you guys. Bye.